planting a keylogger with the USB rubber ducky and payload caveats this time on Hack 5. For Hack 5, I'm Darren Kitchen and this is your Payload Minute. Today I am checking out Ducky Logger 2 by Draflon. It's a simple payload for the USB rubber ducky that targets Linux systems with system D to capture credentials. It sends live keystrokes as they're typed from the target to a Netcat listener by planting a malicious X input binary and moreover serves as an example of things to look for when choosing a payload. So let's take a look. This payload works by opening a terminal and suspending the history. Then it finds the target keyboard and creates a logging mechanism by importing an X input file that we'll get back to in just a moment. If we dig into the reverse shell component, we'll see that for each keystroke typed, a socket is open to your listener using PHP, which is a very specific dependency. This payload goes on to add a bit of persistence, which is a term to mean that the payload's going to stick around and do its job, even after the USB rubber ducky has been removed from the target or that the machine has been rebooted. It does this by creating and enabling a systemd service. To use this payload, execute it just like you would any other USB rubber ducky payload. Encode it in Payload Studio, arm it on the ducky, plug it into the target. Then, on a server of yours in the cloud, you'll need to spin up a Netcat listener. Traflon provides example listener code which will log to a file, as well as a decoder script which will process the raw keystrokes into a more readable format using the Xmod map utility. What I like about this payload is it's pretty well documented with comments for each section. It also includes a nice section on usage as well as example code and a processing utility. There is, however, plenty of room for improvement and some takeaways for anyone looking to use a payload like this on their targets. First, the payload document points out that values need to be changed on lines 43 and 59. This is exactly why DuckyScript 3 includes define statements, which allow you to set a variable at the top of a payload that can be used later on. It's best practice that whenever a configurable variable occurs in a payload that use a define as a statement at the top of a payload so users don't have to go digging through random lines of code and it also makes things more efficient. The way this one currently works if you don't change anything, the keylogger is going to try to hit the IP address 0.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0 on port 4444, so that's not going to work too well. Second, this payload, while it may not look like it on the surface, retrieves another stage from an online resource, and that's something to consider whenever deploying a payload. There's nothing wrong with having a second stage, whether that's coming from an internet resource or from the USB rubber ducky internal storage, but in the case of this, the file that's being retrieved is a binary hosted on Draflon's GitHub account. There are two concerns here. First, while you can read all of the ducky script and bash script used in this payload, that can't be said for the X input binary file. And further, using GitHub as a content delivery network is against their terms of service. I point this out so that you can be aware of what's being executed by a payload. I always recommend reading through the code entirely and especially looking out for calls to external resources using wget, curl, iex, or similar. If I were to use this on an engagement, I would definitely want to be compiling that X input binary myself and hosting it in a way that's not going to raise alarms or violate terms of service. If I had to spin up a Netcat listener anyway, I'd, I'd probably just host the file there. Despite the issues, it's still a novel concept with room for improvement and serves as a good example of some of the nuances to consider whenever running someone's payloads. So mad props to Draflon for this interesting keylogger payload. You can find it and many more over at hack5.org. So what do you think? Is there anything that you would change in this payload to make it better? Let me know in the comments. With that, I'm Darren Kitchen. Trust your Technolust.